Welcome to EDU Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will discuss section formula and how to find the centroid in center x center of a triangle. Firstly, we will discuss section formula. Let R be the point on the line joining P and Q such that R divides P and Q in the ratio M is to N. Let us see with an figure. Suppose this is a line joining P, point P and Q and whose coordinates are X1, Y1 and X2, Y2 and R be the point on the line joining CQ such that it has the coordinate x and y and it divides the line joining P and Q in the ratio m is to n. Then the coordinates of the point which divides the line joining P and Q can be derived by the section formula in the way x will be equal to m into x2 plus n into x1 divided by m plus n. Similarly, y will be find out m into y2 plus n into y1 divided by m plus n. This is a formula for finding the coordinates of the point R when it divides the line joining P and Q in the ratio m is to 1 internally. And when R divides externally then its coordinates can be find out as x will be equal to m x2 minus n x1 divided by m plus n similarly sorry it will be minus y will be equal to m y2 minus n y1 divided by m minus n Simply put negative sign instead of positive sign in the formula of internal. So, we can get the point of R when it divides the line joining P and Q externally. Suppose R divides line joining P and Q in the ratio 1 is to 1. Then x will be equal to 1 into x2 plus 1 into x1 divided by 1 plus 1 which will be equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Similarly y will be equal to 1 into y2 plus 1 into y1 divided by 1 plus 1 which will be equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So when R divides in the ratio 1 is to 1, then the coordinates of R equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 and y will be equal to y1 plus y2 by 2. And this is also called the midpoint formula. As in this case, R will act as a midpoint of P and Q. So let us see examples based on these formulas. In this question, it is given that we have to find the coordinates of the point on the line joining the point P and Q, which divides the line joining P and Q in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, let R be the required point thus R divides PQ internally or externally in the ratio 2 is to 1. Firstly, we will find out when R divides PQ 
internally in the ratio 2 is to 1. Then coordinates of R that is x will be equal to m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n. Here n is equal to 2, x2 is minus 2 plus n is 1 and x1 is 3 divided by m is 2, n is 1. So we get minus 4 plus 3 divided by 3 which is equal to minus 1 by 3. Similarly, y will be equal to m by 2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n which will be equal to 2 into y2 is 5 plus n is 1 into y1 is minus 4 divided by 2 plus 1 that is m plus 1 which will be equal to 10 minus 4 divided by 3 which will come out 6 by 3 is equal to 2. So these are the coordinates of R when it divides PQ internally. Now let us find when PQ when R divides PQ externally in the ratio of 2 e to 1. Then in this case x will be equal to m x2 minus n y1 divided by m minus n which will be equal to here m is 2 x2 is minus 2 minus n is 1 and this is x1. x1 is 3 divided by m is 2 and n is 1. It will come out to be minus 4 minus 2 divided by 1 which is equal to minus 7. And y will be equal to m y2 minus n y1 divided by m minus n which will be equal to 2 into y2 is 5 minus 1 into y1 is minus 4 divided by 2 minus 1 which will get 10 plus 4 which will be equal to 40. So in this case coordinates of R is minus 7 and 40. So these are the coordinates of R when it divides externally and these are the coordinates of R when it divides internally. Firstly in that we will discuss centroid. Consider a triangle ABC. Whose coordinates are x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Suppose the midpoint of these sides are denoted by F, E and D. And its coordinate will be x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 by the midpoint formula. Similarly, we can find out the coordinate of this point and similarly of this point. Now join the midpoints. the sides. The, the point at which these three lines intersect is called the centroid. This point is called the centroid of triangle and its coordinates are given as x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 and y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by so, the coordinates of the centroid of a triangle are given as x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 and y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. Now, let us see in center. Suppose this is a triangle ABC whose lengths are the side of the length AC is B, the side of the length BC is A and the side of the length AB is C. Now, draw the bisector of the angle 
of these triangles the point at which the bisector meets is called the in center of the triangle and its coordinate suppose this is the point l and its coordinate are given as a x1 plus b x2 plus c x3 divided by a plus b plus c and a y1 plus b y2 plus c y3 divided by a plus b plus c. So, if we have to find out the coordinates of the intent of triangle, the coordinates is given by this form. Now, let us see extent of a triangle. Suppose this is a triangle ABC whose coordinates are x1 y1, x2 y2, and x3 y3. The, the length of the side BC is A, the length of the side AC is B, and the length of the side AB is C. Now, the circle which touches the side BC and the two sides AB and AC produce is called the ascribed circle. This is called the ascribed circle opposite to angle A. The bisectors of angle, external angle B and C meet at point L1 which is the center of the external circle opposite to angle A. The coordinates of L1 is given as minus A x1 plus B x2 plus C x3 divided by minus A plus B plus C. Similarly, minus A y1 plus B y2 plus C y3 divided by minus a plus b plus c. The coordinates of L2 and L3 opposite to the angle B and C respectively are given by the coordinates of L2 will be a x1 minus b x2 plus c x3 divided by a minus b plus c and a y1 minus b y2 plus c y3 divided by a minus b plus c. Similarly, coordinate of L3 will be a x1 plus b x2 minus c x3 divided by a plus b minus c and a y1 plus b y2 minus c y3 divided by a plus b minus c. So, these are the coordinates of the centers produced by the external angles. That is L1, L2 and 3 and called the eccenter of a triangle.